former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan's legal troubles continue to mount. More members of Khan's party, that's the Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf, have been arrested in the cipher case against Khan. Former Finance Minister and PTI Vice Chairman Asad Umar has been taken into custody by the FIA. Umar's arrest comes hours after another former PTI leader claimed that the police personnel abducted her daughter. Shireen Mazari has turned the alleged abduction as an act of state fascism. Sunday's twin arrests come after Foreign Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi was detained on Saturday. He was taken to the federal agency's headquarters in Islamabad and has now been sent to 14 days of physical remand. The developments come two days after Imran Khan was booked under the Official Secrets Act in the Cypher case. Local reports reveal that the former PTI chief has been booked under Section 5 of the Official Secrets Act 1923 by the Federal Investigation Agency. The counter-terrorism wing of the FIA registered the case against Khan, accusing him of misusing the cipher, which is a classified diplomatic document. Citing the now-missing cipher, Imran Khan has been alleging that the United States hashed a conspiracy to topple his government. He reportedly displayed the cipher at a public rally to back his claims, but the case against the ex-Prime Minister took a more serious turn when his principal secretary, Azam Khan, told the FIA that Khan had used the US cipher for his political gains and to avert a vote of no confidence against him last year. It is said that the cipher contained an account of a meeting between US State Department officials. The meeting also included South Asian Affairs Secretary Donald Liu and then Pakistani envoy to the United States, Asad Majid Khan. But why is this case more serious than the other legal matters surrounding Imran Khan? Should the case against former Pakistani cricketer turn politician be proved, it would involve a punishment of imprisonment from 2 to 14 years and in some cases even a death sentence. Imran Khan is already in jail after he was sentenced to three years in prison on the 9th of August. He was found guilty of illegally selling state gifts worth nearly $500,000 in the Toshikhana case. Meanwhile, a petition has, filed, has been filed under Article 184, subsection 2 of the Constitution, which seeks to have the case be heard again. This on the grounds that the former cricketer turned politician had not been given a fair trial. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.